Crude output in Iraq's oil-rich Kirkuk province tumbled when two fields halted production as government troops pushed back Kurdish forces in an Iraqi offensive to regain control in the disputed area. Iraq regained control of all oil fields and other energy facilities in Kirkuk, including by Hassan and Havana fields, the oil ministry said Tuesday in a statement. It called for cooperation to keep oil exports flowing from the northern part of the country. The Kurdish Kid group had stopped pumping crude at Havana and by Hassan after technicians failed to report for work and security guards left amid the fighting, an official at the central government-run North Oil Corporation said Monday, without specifying how much oil the fields were producing before the halt. While the Kid group operates the fields, National Oil Corporation staff work with the Kurds at both sites, the official said asking not to be identified because they're not authorized to speak to the media. The halt could affect 275,000 barrel per day in output, according to estimates compiled by Bloomberg. Kirkuk's oil fields export through a Kurdish-controlled pipeline to Turkey. The Turkish port of Sein received crude from northern Iraq and the semi-autonomous Kurdish region at a pumping rate of 510,000 barrel per day on Tuesday, down from 600,000 on Monday, according to a port agent who asked not to be identified because the information isn't public. Kirkuk, home to Iraq's oldest producing oil fields is a tinderbox in the power struggle between the central government in Baghdad and the Kurdistan regional government. Tensions in the northern province erupted into outright hostilities between the central government and the KRG on Monday following a Kurdish referendum on independence from Iraq. The Kurdistan regional government included Kirkuk in the September 25 referendum despite competing claims to the ethnically mixed area, which lies outside the boundaries of the Kurdistan regional government ruled Kurdish region. Given the political issues facing the Kurds, there's always a lingering question mark over their level of exports. There's still a remaining threat of some sort of interruption. Iraq's control of all the energy sites in Kirkuk will allow for more investment, and plans to develop the oil fields are moving forward, the oil ministry said Tuesday. Iraqi forces on Monday seized the headquarters of Kirkuk's provincial administration, as the government in Baghdad escalated its efforts to block the creation of a Kurdish state in the country's north. On their way toward Kirkuk, Iraq's army and allied militias took oil fields, a refinery and a military base from Kurdish control, according to state-run Iraqi television. Brent crude was 22 cents higher at $58.04 slash barrel on Tuesday at 4.55 p.m. in Dubai. The global benchmark rose 1.1% Monday to close at the highest since September. 27. Iraq, the second largest producer in OPEC, pumps most of its 4.47 million barrel per day from fields in the south and ships it from the Persian Gulf port of Basra. But with Iraq supplying about 14% of total production from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, a deepening conflict in the North could royal crude markets. Of the 275,000 barrel per day in production at disputed Kurdish run fields in Kirkuk, the Bai Hassan field has been pumping 195,000 BPD, while the Avanidome, the central part of the giant Kirkuk field, has been producing 80,000. Iraqi federal police have taken control of Bai Hassan. The Baghdad-controlled North Oil Company operates the Baba Dome, the southern part of the Kirkuk field along with the nearby Jambur and Kabaz fields, for a combined output of around 90,000 barrel per day, according to a map published in February by Western Zagros, a company operating in Iraq's Kurdish region. Baghdad piggybacks its exports from Kirkuk with Kurdish shipments through the Kurdistan regional government-run pipeline to Turkey, which runs to the Mediterranean port of Sayan. Kirkuk's fields and deposits in the Kurdish region were exporting about 600,000 barrel per day through the pipeline, a person familiar with the matter said on Monday. Oil was still flowing through the export link, the Kurdistan regional government's Ministry of Natural Resources said later in the day on Twitter. The latest hostilities flared after the central government and the Kurdistan regional government combined forces to expel Islamic State militants from most of northern Iraq earlier this year. 
Kurdish fighters occupied much of Kirkuk province in June 2014, after Iraqi troops fled ahead of militants advancing at the time into the area. Baghdad refuses to recognize Kurdish control of Kirkuk. To get faster updates and the latest news from the oil and gas industry, please subscribe to the YouTube new video channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn.